Hey YouTube, Michael Double X the Beast here. Um, this is part three of my 180 card CGC order that I received in last week, a week ago today, actually. Um, this will be the last 50 cards of this submission and I'll run through these as quickly as I can. And then probably over the weekend or early next week, you'll see my uh, my point system and the actual data entered in and, and that sort of thing. I'm a little bit behind on getting that video done just because I needed to do this one first. So without any more uh, uh, talking here, we're going to get going. Um, up first, we've got this uh, 2021 mosaic. And this is a green fluorescent that came back a nine. And this one is number to 10. These are crazy tough. And then here is the uh, quick pitch gold. Did you see here? And it came back a 10. And this is one of the few mosaics that actually graded well. These across the board did not, did not really do all that great. And this one is at 6 of 10. Sorry, I was trying to see the serial number there. Um, up next is the first of the golds. And this one came back an 8.5. And, of course, these look great. And that one is, is at 6 of 10 as well. I think, yeah, 6 of 10 as well. And then the other gold came back in 8.5 as well. So I don't really know exactly why these got 8.5s, but they were very consistent with both of them. And that one is 7 of 10. So 6 of 10 and 7 of 10 both got 8.5s. Here is the black gold, um, the first of the two black golds. And that one came back in 9.5. And uh, these are nice looking cards too. I really like that design. And this one is six of eight. And then here is the second of the black golds. And this one, this one came back a uh, ten. So this one did very well. Um, both of the black golds did did well. And those are first off the line exclusives. Um, so I don't know if that's why they maybe printed better. I don't know. Um, that one is uh, two of eight. Up next is this uh, 2021 Tops update, and this is the vintage stock. So it has like the non-glossy on the front, and of course has the the, you know, the Tops logo here. It came back at 10, and these are actually really, really condition sensitive. So I was happy with that. And uh, it's number 20 of 99 in the corner there. Camera doesn't want to focus. There it goes. Stack these up. And then I actually had I actually had a pair of those I sent in, and that, that one came back a 9.5. And this one is 18 of 99. This jersey numbered uh chain cord. Uh, up next is from Tops Update as well. This is the Independence Day, and it came back a 9.5. And that one is 21 of 76. Up next is a tops update, and that's the black parallel. It came back in nine five. The black parallels typically are by far the toughest, and so I was really, really happy with the nine point five on that. And I think it looks great with that uh, with that CGC label. And this one is five of seventy. Up next is another Tops update, and this is the Memorial Day uh, camo card. And this one came back at nine. And these are very condition sensitive too. These are these are not easy to grade across the board, so no big deal on the nine. And that one is also jersey numbered eighteen of twenty five. Up next this is one of my favorite favorite cards. Is the the clear? Of course, you can see it's acetate. Uh, the serial number is right there in the front. It's 4 of 10, and it came back a 9. Up next is the Union Jack Parallel from 2021 Tops UK. And these are really condition sensitive, too. I was absolutely thrilled to get a 10 because these are, these are just not easy to grade. And that one right there is 56 of 99. Next is 2021 Tops UK, and that's the gold parallel. 
and you can see the flag in the corner right here, by the way. The, the gold parallels out of UK and Japan are both numbered to 25. And that one's 22 of 25. And of course, the 9-5 on that is really nice. Uh, here is the Tops Japan. And this is the Cherry Blossom. And you got a 10 on that one. Um, I have about five or six of these. And I think I sent in the top two looking ones. And I was, I was really happy to get a to get a 10 there. And that is 06 of 99. Here is the other Cherry Blossom. And it came back a 9.5. So both of those graded pretty well. Um, the other ones I have are probably eights and maybe below. Uh, so I had a couple of them that were much better. That's 49 of 99. Here is the purple from Japan edition. And it came back a nine. And, and I have a couple of these. Centering is typically really bad off the left, which you can see on this one. So this is the best looking one I have. And uh, I was very happy just to get that get that back grade. And it is jersey number 18 of 50. So not, it's a nice card, uh, very condition sensitive set. And here is the one of the golds from Topps Japan Edition. And this, I think this is probably the worst condition of the three that I have. And I think I may have even bought another one since I sent these in, but um, this one's an 8.5 and this one is nine of 25. Here's the second of the Topps Japan Editions. And this one came back in 9.5 and uh, this one was in really nice shape and it's 21 of 25 on the serial number. And the third one that I sent in came back a 10. So I was really happy to get a 10 on one of these. I really wanted to. And this serial number, I think this is 25 of 25. And it's actually, uh, it was the first one I ever bought and I've had this really since the product released. Uh, so it's a, you know, it's a, it's a great card. Very happy to get that, uh, to get that 9.5. Up next is the Japan edition red. And this one is very badly off center to the left. As you can see, I was much more harsh on the grade than they were. So I, I'm, I'm actually very happy with the nine. Um, I think I had it predicted way lower than that just because, you know, it is it is off centered very badly. So the nine is great. And these are obviously stupid tough at, at five copy, five copies. Um, this one was five of five. It's the only one of these I've ever seen, actually. Up next, this is a this is a limited edition. It's called the 70, 70th anniversary celebration. I think these were Montgomery Club sets, I believe you could get. And, and obviously somebody's broke this up. It just has a silver border. So it's not nothing crazy. And these have a silver, silver border and so do the uh, anniversary platinums. They do as well. Uh, so nothing crazy, but you can see it right here where it has the limited edition, you know, stamp on it. Came back a 9.5. You really don't see a lot of these and it's not serial numbered, but um, if you look on eBay at any given time, there's really just not a lot of them listed. Uh, up next, this is a 70th anniversary platinum. This is not the one of one. So the one of ones are just platinum, but because of the 70th year, they call these 70th anniversary platinums a little bit confusing. Borders look very similar. So, you know, these are not the most flashy, you know, of all parallels. And this one came back at nine. They're very condition sensitive. I have four or five of them and, I think this was probably the best one. It's serial number 34 of 70. Up next is this was, I think this is the only black border parallel that I sent in. And like I mentioned earlier with the update set, they are extremely difficult to grade. So a nine to five on this one uh, feels like a big win. I will definitely, definitely take that. Um, I have four or five of these. And I started to send in more, and I may send in a couple more of them later on. But the other ones, I don't think anything's above a nine, probably. Uh, and this one is 56 of 70. Up next, this is the uh, Mother's Day Pink Parallel. And this one came back a nine. And very similar to everything else, these are very condition sensitive. So, you know, very excited to uh, 
to get that one back in a nine. And it is 46 of 50. And this was one of the first cards from 2021 tops that I of him that I ever picked up. And I've had it for basically since the product first came out, probably the first couple of days since it came out. Moving my stacks around here. Um, up next, if you, you do the Mother's Day parallel, you, you kind of got to do the, the Father's Day one. So there's the Father's Day parallel. And of course, it's got the blue border. And it came back a nine as well. Um, let me just get that back just a little bit. Came back a nine as well. And, you know, these are just classic, uh, classic, you know, top flagship parallels. And this one is 41 of 50. Up next is another nine, and it is the Memorial Day camo. And these are one of the tougher parallels from, from flagship. Uh, I do not have the one of one um, platinum from regular tops, and I do not have the clear from this one either. I, I need I need one of each, and or, well, the only one of one, and then one of the uh, number to 10 clears. And I uh, would love to have them. This is 19 of 25. And I've had this one since basically the product came out as well. Um, up next, this is uh, this is a Purple Sapphire from 2022 Top Chrome. And this was actually a regrade. Let me see if I can find, I think I've got the, the label here. I can't remember what it was graded previously. But uh, so it was a PSA 9. You can see right there it is. It was a PSA 9. Uh, you know, cracked it out, wiped it down, and sent it in, and uh, came back in nine point five. And these are these are really rare, obviously, to uh, to ten copies. Um, up next is we're going to get through some Bone Chrome now, and from twenty twenty one. And of course, this is his rookie year. You see the logo up there, and this is came back a ten, and this was the Aqua Sapphire. And it's hard to tell. It's number to 99. I think it's 14 of 99 there. Um, these are nice looking cards. Up next is the orange sapphire. And this one did not grade as well as I was hoping. It come back a nine uh, on the grade. And it is 75 of 75 on the serial number. Here is the 2021 Bowman Chrome purple sapphire. Bone Chrome Purple Sapphires are to 25. Like the Tops Chrome I just showed, they are to 10. So these are a little bit higher numbered. And this one is 16 of 25, and it came back in a nine. Uh, here is a, a gold refractor. And this is not a sapphire, just a regular gold refractor. And it came back at 10. And it is 12 of 50. Stack the room, move it here. Up next, we're going to go through a run of orange refractors. Um, this one's 24 or 25. It came back at nine. Let me stack these up here as I go. This one here is set 19 out of 25, and it came back a 9.5. This one is 14 of 25, and it came back a 9.5 as well. This one is 13 of 25, and I think this was maybe the only 10 I hit out of these. And they're they're very tough grades. I, I did not kill it out of all, I think it's six of these that I have. Um, this one is nine of 25, and that came back a nine. I guess that's fitting. Serial number nine comes back a nine. And then the last one of those is one of 25 and it came back in a 9.5 grade. Okay, got one more stack here of cards to go and that'll be the end of this video. Um, up next is the, the red refractor and it's one of five and it came back a nine. And I think I almost have the entire rainbow grade. I have the entire rainbow. Um, I, I know I need to send in a blue and maybe a couple of the other colors, but got most of the rainbow graded now. I'm going to keep working on it until I get all of them graded. Um, up next is a pair of Bowman Chrome X, and this one is 
19 of 31, and this is a green X fractor, or it's just really just a base card from the setup, but it's a green X fractor, and it came back a 10. And uh, I really like, really like how these look. And then here is 13 of 31, and it also came back a 10. So both of those graded very well. One of them centered a little bit better than the other, but they both looked really solid. And then I've got um, some of the uh, – I'm trying to find my the flip here. Uh, the label. So here's three of three of the red x fractors, and it came back in 9.5. And uh, these are – these are obviously insanely rare, and I have two of the three. I would love to find the third one. Um, and here is one of three, and it also came back in 9.5. This one was actually a SGC-10, and it went from SGC-10 down to a CGC 9.5. And that's that's been a pretty common theme out of all the regrades I've done, is that CGC cards, uh, CGC and SGC, Typically, CGC grades them around a half a point and sometimes a full point tougher. And PSA and CGC are really close to the same. Um, if not, sometimes CGC actually being 0.5 higher. So just in case you're thinking about some, you know, crossing some over, uh, SGC seems to be way easier just on the handful I've, I've crossed over, which is not a ton. Um, this is a base card, base auto from 2018. Um, Bowman's Best. And this is obviously his first year, his draft year. This came back a 9.5. I'd really like to have a 10 of, of one of these. I may keep sending some more in. Let's see if I can hit one. Here is the refractor. Um, you can see the shine there on that one. Um, the refractors are very short printed out of this. Uh, they, they, they don't pop up very often. And this one came back a 9.5. And all of these have 10 autos, by the way. I'm not going to show the backs on all of them, but every one of them have, have 10 autos that I'm running through right now. Here is the first of the two green refractors, and this was 24 of 99, you can see down here. And of course it came back at 10, which is which is awesome. I like how these greens look. It's a it's a great color of green, just the tone of it. Um, here is the second of the uh, of the greens and this one is 38 out of 99 I almost knocked the card over and it came back at 9.5. So, you know, cool card. And here is a gold refractor, and it came back at 10, and this is 38 out of 50. Um, so I now have actually – I've got two more cards to go here for this set, but I have the entire rainbow now graded um, with, I think, maybe the lowest one being the printing plate is, is low, but outside the printing plate, I think everything else is at least a 9.5 or so – or a 9. Here's the atomic refractor, and it's two of twenty-five, and it came back a nine point five. And these these have a great look to them, of course. Very cool cards. And the last card for for this for this submission is this uh, this red refractor auto, um, and it is seven of ten right here from twenty eighteen Bowman's Best, and it came back a nine. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, with the ten auto. So. That's all the cards for uh, for this 180 card submission, and I thank everybody for watching.